The red carpet was rolled out to celebrate the start of the 48th International Maldives Film Festival in Kyiv. The nine-day competitive program is renowned around Eastern Europe for promoting young professionals and photographers. The event features an international and national contest, student films, short films and a packed non-competitive section of Ukrainian movie screenings. Roxy Toporovich flew in from the US for the opening. She first came to Ukraine in September 2014. So the film is called Julia Blue. In Ukraine we call it Yulia. And it's the story of a student activist, Yulia, who wants to study photojournalism. And she ends up, she's a volunteer at the military hospital, and she ends up meeting a soldier there called English. And it's a very fleeting love story that takes place in Ukraine in a very specific time and place in 2015. And it's kind of the, the story is about deciding what, what your future should be. Uh, do you stay in your country? Do you leave your country? Should you pursue your dreams? Should you stay for love? You know. Andriy Halpachki, the general director of the Maldist Festival, dedicated his opening remarks to Ukrainian political prisoner Oleg Sintsov, who has been held behind bars in Russia for almost five years. I cannot forget about one important person who also started his path at the Molotov Film Festival. This is Oleg Sentsov, a Kremlin prisoner who presented his first film, Gamer, right here in this hall. The first award was presented at the opening ceremony. A gown was handed to British film director and screenwriter Peter Greenway for his contribution to the world of cinema. I certainly received one or two awards in my 40-year uh, career, but I have never received one which actually has a diamond in it. <laughs> Maldi's Film Festival will last till June the 2nd, so the next week for sure will be quite busy for any film lover, reported by Anna Romanovska for UATV.